Big Crago here for the next thrilling instalment in Seven Days to Die. Now, to be completely honest, I've had a, a, a mixed bag tonight. Uh, had some really fun and exciting uh, little jaunts with Mr. Dave as we've gone out to try and bring justice to the uh, recently deceased. But uh, unfortunately for me, I've also uh, fallen a few times uh, tonight, mainly because <laughs> I'm making silly mistakes. But you know, you get that on the big jobs. So uh, I thought I'd go out and do a little quick little recce. Um, see if we can get ourselves some, some extra resources. Uh, because we're at day 27. Um, so we've got a little bit of time up our sleeve. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. Couple of baddies back there, but not really worth us getting getting into it over that. Um, okay, and here now Dave's uh, been having a fun time fighting against uh, a multitude of different uh, baddies. Um, so he's about a kilometer and a bit of away from me and I'm slowly making my way in his direction. Um, well, I've, uh, I've buried myself, I dug through the asphalt yep. underground and um, I'm now just, I dug myself down into a hole and covered the hole up so that I could uh, dig in peace but I can hear a zombie above me going berserk because I'm down here digging. Oh excellent. So you're uh, winning, winning hearts and changing minds, right? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to follow the road to Dave, and what I've worked out is I've either taken the wrong road or it's going to take me the rest of my life to get there. So instead, I'm going to follow the flare right here to go and get this supply drop. Tactical assault rifle seems good and some Jack Daniels also seems good. Old motorcycle here, a motorcycle push bike for me, Gertrude. My god, this thing's <laughs> under the corner of a concrete wall. Uh, Dave's uh, doing a mission at the moment where he's got a dig. Holy f I think he's just found something that's a bit scary. Oh, die, you prick. Oh, now I can eat dogs. Well, I have just got myself a level 5 tactical assault rifle. Nice work. Uh, which seems fairly good, given I see you, dog. how scary it is in this world. So, uh, rather than wasting all my ammunition, use the flaming club that actually does a great job and then if I get overwhelmed by all means go full auto Up this 
stick. Okay, see ya. So there's a lot of materials in this particular house so far. Not bad. You scared me a little bit, buddy. hear him but I couldn't see the other one behind the boxes there that fixed him and probably every zombie for about 3,000 kilometers is going to come and say good day to me soon Dave has taught us, it's always important to look up. Because zombies definitely have a habit of falling from the sky. there's probably some in here as well but, uh, let's see how we go yep oh no uh, I think I might have some food how you going Dave it's a special kind of Torment. It looks like this thing is buried underneath a giant concrete wall that goes down about four stories underground. Excellent. Exactly what you want, said no one ever. I got some level six scrap boots for you if you want them. level threes at the moment so that'd be great oh, and there's a horde up there's a horde running out of the top of me yeah, pro about probably don't 20 fight. blocks 20 <laughs> blocks down I think underneath the asphalt <laughs> Good. Clay, sand, gunpowder. Cornerstone of every nutritional zombie breakfast.
a lock pick. That's good. We like lock picks. Mm, okay. Get some food. Keep moving it. Sunglasses. Nice. Um, more water, like that. There's a zombie over there. Locked, locked. Oh, unlocked. Water, mmm, favorite. Okay, I think we're all sort of empty on that front. I hear some zombies doing their thing, but I don't know where they are. Space, all right. Scrap that. Take that. Hey, 
It's just got to go up now, upward. So let's do that. See if we can get this finished, eh? Because I've run out of time. <laughs> How are you going, Dave? You finished digging? I'm. No. <laughs> the tone in your voice says enough. I should have given up long ago, but now that I'm, you know, an entire day investing into digging this hole. Something here, I think it's in this concrete at 5,000 hit points a block. And I'm a bit scared that when the night comes in this wasteland and everything's moving super fast. These have nearly died a few times already that uh, it'll finish me off. Oh, there it is. It's literally buried about uh, inside a concrete wall, part of the PRI. Sounds amazing. Oh, and I've just realised that my lock picks are out in the bike outside and there's like a horde above me. It better be freaking amazing. It wasn't a whole day's worth of good. It wasn't a trip to the uh, wasteland good. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, Craig, it was quite bad. <laughs> it, 
it's to be fair, it's it's probably a little more than I've ammo than I've actually spent surviving here. But not much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there, there's a fucking pillow coming to get me. Come on, come on, get out of the wasteland. Get out of here! Oh, I'm still on the wasteland, it's about to turn night. And I'm starving. Trying my hardest not to die here, guys. <sighs> oh, crap. No idea. Head towards home, not further into the deadly biome. Scrap all those. Well, guys, uh, I think I'm going to have to hold up in this house until tomorrow, given the fact that I don't know where I am properly. And if I start running around in the dark, I'm probably going to be a sad panda. So uh, I'm going to sign off now. I appreciate everyone uh, hanging out. Yeah, you're welcome too, Siri. Um, as always, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, 7 to 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if you're watching this video right now and you've enjoyed it, please feel free to hit a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, let us know what you think I should be doing. Because <laughs> at the moment, I'm freaking right out. Uh, other than that, guys, have a fantastic one. And uh, as always, make every day count.